Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I have another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary for you guys. This isn't a live commentary for first. For a first? Well, for a long time. I haven't really done these for a while. I've just been doing live commentaries because I find them easier because I don't have to commentate over them afterwards and it takes half the time. But oh well, I felt like doing this one today because this was supposed to be a live commentary but I did terribly and the commentary was terrible. So I'm playing as Spy on Koth Viaduct with the Vintage Deadringer, the Enforcer, the Default Knife and the Default Electro Sapper. I run up here right off the bat and get a nice kill on the Medic and this side stab on the Demo Man. This video is all about the tips and the tricks of being a spy. Now I don't count myself as an amazing spy, but I do count myself as pretty intermediate or beginner because I can do some basic stabbing and I know how to hide within other teams and not get caught out. So the best, best, best place for uncloaking, decloaking, uh, uncloaking and decloaking are the same thing, <laughs> disguising and all that stuff is up on those little mountain ledges at the side of the map. This is because of nobody really goes there, nobody sees there, nobody's really looking there that often. So I just want to talk about the Dead Ringer for a second. Basically, what the Dead Ringer does is it's not the default invisibility watch. It's not what that. It's not what that's meant to do. Basically, what the Dead Ringer is meant to do is it's supposed to be a last resort to get out of sticky situations. And yes, that is what she said. So basically, the Dead Ringer is there because if you are getting like shot at by a heavy and a medic pair with demo men and all that stuff, you just pull out your Dead Ringer, and when something hits you or you uh, you take some damage, you will go invisible. So you can escape really quickly because no one ever sees you. Then if people bump into you, they can't be seen, well you can't be seen because your, your invisibility doesn't flicker unlike other invisibility watches. I, go, I try to go for a backstab on that medic there and fail, just thought I'd point that out because I found that pretty hilarious. And I get five backstabs that round and get to the top of the leaderboard. So now I just want to go over a little tip for the Dead Ringer. Basically, if you're on fire, just pull out the Dead Ringer. Just pull it out, it's not difficult. Just pull out the Dead Ringer by right-clicking, just like going invisible for anything else. Um, put it away if you see a pyro. Basically, put it away. Just just right-click again and it's gone, alright? And then, when a pyro sets you alight, because if a spy meets a pyro, you are going to be set alight. There's no question about that. If that does happen, just pull out the Dead Ringer when you're on fire and away from the Pyro. Basically what this does is it will feign your death just as the Dead Ringer does usually, but it will also uh, extinguish you, meaning that you won't be on fire, so you'll be invisible and they won't be able to track you. So I run up onto the point here, uh, sap the sentry and get a nice backstab on there, and I pull out the Dead Ringer when I got set on fire and I get away fine. I don't die. It's awesome. It's really easy to get away with the Dead Ringer. And basically, spy on these sorts of King of the Hill maps, it's just a rinse and repeat process, just running backwards and forwards, getting as many backstabs as you can, running to safety, getting health and ammo, and then going back in for some awesome new backstabs on some unwilling uh, victims, I guess. So there is a few people that do catch on to what I'm doing. That scout there, he definitely knows what's up. I, he knew I was a spy. I'm not going to deal with trying to backstab him or shoot him with the enforcer. So I'm just going to cloak up and run away. So I see me as a spy, get a nice fail backstab there. Pull out the revolver. If you fail at a backstab, then just pull out your revolver, or the enforcer is what I'm using, and just shoot them. There's no need to try running up and stabbing them in the front because it does. it's like prodding them with a stick. It's not going to do anything. So now I just want to talk about the Enforcer. Basically the Enforcer is an amazing weapon. It has 20% damage increase. So basically you deal 20% more damage when shooting someone. But it has 0.5 seconds of uh, time added to it to going invisible. So you can't go invisible quicker or quick enough. Which is stupid because it doesn't apply to the Dead Ringer. Um, so there's no need to worry about that if you use the Dead Ringer. And 0.5 seconds, it's half seconds, it's not really much. So as you saw there, just before I died, uh, Pyro, I saw a Pyro, so I put away my Dead Ringer, so the Pyro could set me on fire. If he did make it to me, it was more than likely he'd set me on fire. So I'd be on fire, then I'd pull out my Dead Ringer, I wouldn't be on fire, and I'd be able to make a clean getaway without anybody being none the wiser. 
So I'm running back out into the gameplay here, uh, well into the battlefield, but let's talk about the gameplay. So we've got about a minute left, I mean, it gets really intense and tight right at the end of the match. Uh, it's basically everyone trying to get on the point as much as they can and then getting away from it so uh, like Ubers don't come in and destroy them. Now Ubers, getting off on a bit of a tangent here, Ubers are kind of pointless on cough maps unless you can build it up super quick. Um, such as with the quick fix, but that's not exactly a good uber, because it's the quick fix. <laughs> and then you'll be able to kill everyone around, uh, like a sentry gun that's kind of defending it. But usually demo men can do that fine. So I make the mistake here of pulling, my, pulling out my dead ringer, then being set alight by a pyro. There's nothing I can really do, because I don't have any enough uh, charge to put away my dead ringer and pull, uh, pull it back out. So I'm pretty much dead. I tried getting away, but the heavy did get me. So here we've got Carrier has arrived, he's, a, I guess he's an alright spy, um, he kind of, he's kind of bumping into everyone though, um, even though he is using the Dead Ringer, it's still good to try to avoid them so they don't start spy checking everywhere. So it's coming up to the end of the gameplay here, we've got about a minute left, everything's getting intense, I see I got set alight by the Pyro, uh, pulled out my Dead Ringer, then I made the stupid mistake of running back into the Pyro, and then uncloaking before I got to health, so that was a complete fail on my part, I didn't get to uh, get away to health because if you're on fire and you uncloak you take less damage whilst you're cloaked so it was just a big fail on my end so there's about 20 seconds left on the clock this is really really intense gameplay now um where i just want to go out and backstab i mean i'm i wasn't quite sure if we was going to get it because we got it with them te 10 seconds left and got it from about two minutes i think it was uh, all the way down to this but we do manage on winning the game and me being the pro spy that i am i get um wait i'm not going to spoil it there's a, there's overtime i forgot about that try to get a nice stab on that medic but completely fail uh pull out my enforcer and shoot him to death then there's a pyro here um Nothing I can really do about it. I do die, unfortunately. But I do top frag like a boss. Alright guys, my name has been Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.